the house of prayer with Dr. Akatofe. But only speak a word. Matthew 8 verse 8. Join Dr. Akatofe as he teaches the word of God and prays with millions across the globe, strengthening our faith in Jesus Christ our Lord. Visit Amazon for a series of books authored by Dr. Toffe. Books titled Weaving the Web of Life, A Man with a Field, and Temptation with Purpose. The House of Prayer comes your way every Tuesday on YouTube via the channel The House of Prayer with Dr. Toffe. Please do subscribe, like, and share with others. The House of Prayer with Dr. Akatofe. Proclaiming Jesus Christ through the word and prayer. Welcome to the House of Prayer with Dr. Akatofe. Today we're looking at a topic, good news of great joy. Good news of great joy. You know, in Luke chapter 2, verse 8 to 20, it talks of an encounter of a group of shepherds with an angel and their response after the angel visited them concerning the birth of Jesus Christ. So beginning from verse 8 of Luke chapter 2, he says, And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby. That is where Jesus Christ has been born keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were afraid. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people. Today, in the town of David, a savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. And the angel went on to tell them, this will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in clothes and lying in a manger. And suddenly, a great company of the heavenly host joined the angel and they started praising God and saying glory to the Lord in the highest of heaven and on earth peace to those upon whom his favor rests. And when the angels has left them and into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, let us go to Bethlehem to see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has revealed to us. And the Bible says, they hurried off and found Joseph and Mary and the baby who was lying in a manger. And when they had seen the baby, they spread away concerning what they have been told about this baby. And all who heard them were amazed at what the shepherds said to them. But what I find so intriguing and so Encouraging is the fact that in verse 18 it says, But Mary treasured up these things and pondered them in her heart. And the verse 20 of Luke 2 says, The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for what they had seen and head, which was just as they have been told. Let us make some few observations concerning this encounter of the angels with a group of shepherds as recorded in the gospel according to Luke chapter two, 
verse 8 to 20. Now, I believe that the Israelites were waiting the coming Messiah. The prophets had prophesied concerning the coming Messiah. The psalmist has written about the coming Messiah. We can see that in Psalm 60, where David spoke at length about the Messiah. And so they were aware of the coming Messiah. If you will, they were awaiting for the coming Messiah. And so in Luke chapter 2, verse 25, we learned of a person by the name of Simeon, which the Bible says he was a devout and righteous man who was waiting for the consolation of Israel. And that was about the coming Messiah who will come and comfort Israel. And we also know they were awaiting because at some point in Jesus' earthly ministry, he encountered the woman of Samaria in John chapter 4. And during the course of their conversation in John 4, verse 25, the woman said to Jesus Christ, We know Messiah is coming, and when he comes, he will explain everything to us. And we know that in Matthew chapter 2, when the group of Magi came from the east to Jerusalem, asking of the king of the Jews, who has been born, King Herod called the chief priest and the teachers of the law. And he asked them, where the Messiah was to be born. And they said to him, in Bethlehem, in Judea, for so the prophet has written. So the point I'm trying to make is, I am making references to the fact that the Israelites were awaiting the coming Messiah. And so for this particular night, for God to send an angel from heaven to this group of shepherds, it was like God was announcing to the nation that the wait is over. They are waiting for the Messiah. It's over. Dear brothers and sisters, in our lives. Sometimes we have to wait for certain things. Maybe yours may be waiting to be married. Yours may be waiting to travel outside of your country to seek greener pastures. Yours may be waiting to have the fruit of the womb. Even as we enter this Christmas season, I pray that just as the Lord visited these shepherds and announced to Israel that they are waiting for the Messiah was over, may the Lord, in whatever form he chooses, visit you. Say that anything that you have been waiting on come to fruition. In the name of Jesus, may this Christmas be the end of your waiting in the mighty name of Jesus. And for the angel, he said to these shepherds, do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people. Today in the city of David, 
a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah. He is the Lord. The observation I want to make here is, if the birth of Jesus Christ was so important, say that God sent an angel to announce it to the nation. And I believe the narration from the shepherds became part of the writing of Luke as recorded in the Gospel of Luke chapter 2. If that narrative is so important, then it seems to me any occasion or any season that perpetuates or profess to celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ, which is what we call Christmas, must embrace the message that the angel brought along to the shepherds concerning the birth of Christ. And that message was that a savior has been born to you, the Messiah, the Lord. If we truly embrace this message, in the course of our Christmas celebration, how we will reflect on the great love, the immeasurable love that God has for us to have sent his son to come and die for us. And if that refreshing is truly of the heart, We will live with a heart of gratitude, a heart filled with praise for the Lord. And we will join together with the heavenly hosts, just as they praise God, saying, glory to God in the highest of heaven. I pray that this Christmas will bring you a new sense of embracing the magnitude of love that God has for you so that if in this life you are feeling lonely, if in this life you are feeling rejected, may the message that goes with Christmas, the birth of a Savior, the Messiah, the Lord, bring you a new dimension of comfort so that all loneliness, all rejection give way and you dwell in the love of Christ and know that your Heavenly Father loves you beyond measure. Even as you celebrate this Christmas, may the Lord give you a new perspective on the Savior who has been born to you on the Messiah who has been given to you, on the Lord who has been given to you. May you make him your Lord in all aspects of your life. May you make him your Messiah in all aspects of your life. And may you make him a Savior in all aspects of your life. And if you are listening to me and you don't know this Savior, you don't know this Messiah. You don't know this Lord. Why don't you join together with us even as we enter the season of Christmas and embrace him as your Savior, as your Messiah, as your Lord. Say that the good news of great joy that was relayed to the shepherds become yours as well. And if you want to do so, why don't you pray this prayer with me? Lord Jesus, I know I am a sinner and I know I cannot help myself. I, you, Jesus, came 
to die for my sins. I know that when I believe in you, you will cleanse me of my sins. I believe you died and rose again to give me a right standing with God. I confess you as my Lord and my Savior. Thank you, Jesus, for saving me. Thank you, Jesus, for saving me. Amen. If you have prayed that prayer, you have made Jesus Christ your Savior, your Messiah, your Lord. May the good news of great joy that accompany the birth of Jesus Christ continually rise in your heart. And may you seek the Lord and know him as he is in the name of Jesus. Until then, this has been the House of Prayer with Dr. Akatofi. God bless you and make you a blessing. The House of Prayer with Dr. Akatofi, proclaiming Jesus Christ through the word and prayer.